Okay, continuing on here. That sat overnight with the oil weeping in there. I'll clean the pulley off and assemble the uh, potentiometer back. I'm going to put just a little tiny drop of blue Loctite on there because I don't expect to ever need that serviced again. But it's not a big deal. It still comes off. Snug it up. Alright, that all looks good. Put the fork back on it. Sometimes these have a tendency to break. Position it back like it was. I had it, I think I had it off one, one cog there. I'll do it again. Very nice. I didn't do the inside bearing on that control motor because they are not that hard to find and um, they really don't do a lot of work so I don't worry about those too much if I do need to replace them I can and I just marked that the old potentiometer was good in case that ever has to get me out of a jam I know it's still functioning Clean up these posts. This is one of the other reasons I don't like to wrap the wires around the solder lugs and twist them because when you do take them off and they've frayed uh, yeah you end up with strands in there and the strands bridge the gap and it's always a mess shouldn't really have to ever spend this long doing this but uh, that's the reality of it all right let's speed through this part here still some more work to clean that up My position's a little awkward here too. I should just I should have put it in a vise and that would have been faster, but I didn't think I'd have this much of a problem. One more little drop there I think. And then I got it. Okay, one more little drop here and I'll finally have it. It has to be done. All right, I just uh, always keep a little bit of the solder on the tip of my iron while I'm working. And that's, that's what that was there, just adding it before I put it back in the carrier. 
uh, helps them last a little bit longer. A right, little bit of lubricant on the inside of the fork. Everything's cleaned and lubed there. We'll put it back together. Get the belt into place. Put those motor wires back on. Prepare them. Yeah. Get these prepped. Tin them. I get the right gauge there. Okay, put just a little tiny drop of solder on again, or I mean uh, uh, flux on again. Just on the tip there, I'm trying not to get any too far back. Clean the solder, clean the tip, clean the wires. And just out there on the end, staying away from the insulation. Flux off. Put just a little hook on the end there. Of course, this will be a lot easier for the next guy that has to remove these, and it might be me. Had a little, little bit of the old wire stuck on there. Clean my iron again. a little bit of that off of there. Let's put her back together. Just going to check my alignment to that cam gear. Make sure my position's good there. And I'm just going to clean off my new belt. Try to be really careful here not to get any of the grease uh, on that belt. I don't want to have to go back and clean it. I will if I have to, but I 
if I'm careful, I can just slip, slip it around the pulleys and not have it touch any of the lubricant. There it is, just get it started. And I'm there. I got lucky this time. Three screws. And there it is. Make a little bit of do a little clean wire clean up there and uh, screw that back together. This had already been obviously taken apart before, and so uh, I'll go back and tie these wires after I test everything and make sure it's okay. screws in loose make sure nothing's binding and then tighten them up I'll come back and do those uh, two tires on the real table uh, motor, on the real motor, when I'm done with the front. And we'll start the process of servicing the front the tape side mechanicals. This will be a complete disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly. I need to get off this spring retainer so that I can open up the cassette holder and get it out of my way. I won't take that bracket off. I'll just uh, loosen it up and get it out of the way. It'll get lubricated when I'm done. Just one screw there, and then loosen the other one up and just pivot it. Okay, now that'll come up and being careful with the wires on the background light lamp. And we'll start the disassembly process. I just want to go through here and kind of get a feel for the how everything rotates and pivots and if I have anything that needs to be dealt with. Looking for any cracks, any binding, kind of want to know what I'm in store for bef before I start this. And 
Yeah, let's get that spring retainer off of the take-up spool. Get in here a little closer. That's a little bit big of a screwdriver. I need to get my little tiny one. Maybe this one will work. Nope, still too big. Where's that little tiny one? Well, maybe this one will work. Nope, I don't like that one either. There it is. That's the one I always use for this. Just perfect size to get under there and just get that started and it'll pull right off. sometimes. I have no idea where to get those so I'm very careful to uh, make sure they don't disappear on me. Break out of the way, pull the spool off, take a look at that. It looks good, not dirty. Look at this one. There's a little washer there. It came off with the spool on the other one. The washer's still on the shaft. And you don't want to lose those either. So I'm going to remove that and then just keep it with the keep it with the spool until I'm ready to clean them and relubricate them. And that way I know it's there. I see it when I go back. All right, let's remove the sensor, get it out of the way so I can get the hub off. Now what I'm going to do here is make a note of where the screw position was. It's right there and I want to put it back in that same spot. That's a slotted adjustment and I just want to make a note of it just like that so I know exactly where to put the screw back when I put it back together. I don't have a spec for the distance that that's supposed to be away from that magnet. It probably doesn't matter a lot, but I just want to get it the same way. Yeah, retainer off of that, and then there's another very thin washer there. I'm make sure I'm able to put that one back. Whoops, that magnet came off there. That's the first one I've seen come apart. So I'll put a little spot of adhesive to keep those together. Those, those need to rotate as one unit for the sake of the counter. So I've got a washer, a spring, and I've got that bottom Delrin uh, there and then another washer underneath that and I want to make sure I get that order correct and
back together the same way. There's a little bit of that dried molly grease on there and it's turned into a glue gluing that washer in place. So I'm having to get up underneath it here and there we go, work it off of there. Keep everything in order. Right, let's take our brakes off. look good not, nothing cracked there nothing broken nothing excessively worn so I'm happy with those now we'll take the head stack retaining clip off and there's a tiny washer underneath the or washer up uh, ball bearing underneath this and I want to make sure that I don't lose that underneath the spring not the not the retaining clip but this spring that holds down the whole head stack assembly I took that erase head off only because there was some junk underneath I wanted to clean it's not necessary to take it off but it's kind of out of frame there I could see it and I just wanted to get it out of there so otherwise it's not necessary to remove that Oh, and I see that's missing its retaining clip there. So we'll have to get one of those. Who knows how long that's been like that. It, it's operated without that clip on there. There's another one underneath it. This is a little bit larger size. Holds this bracket down. All of that will be cleaned up and relubricated. All right, let's take this head cover off. And now remove that spring hold down and if there if there's still grease in there that ball bearing will be attached to it if there's not it will just be loose either way I don't want to lose it and there it is right there at the end of the screwdriver so there's no lubricant in there that's all dried up So this head stack is mass coupled to the housing by these three ball bearings. I gotta take a little spring off. By that ball bearing and then three others right underneath here. And that both pivots the assembly up and down into the tape and out of the tape. But it also mass couples that assembly to uh, the chassis. And so it's a good design and it eliminates a resonance as much as possible. But that grease also 
tend, uh, helps to damp that resonance. So it's actually a really important thing to get this back to a factory condition. And it's dirty. You can see the all the molly greases dried up and it's dirty and a tape dust and everything that gets in there. So you want that to be nice and clean and relubricated. I'll remove this tape guide just to give me access to the bracket. It doesn't need to come out, but it makes it easier. And that pops out. And that's it. And we'll continue on the next one.